And thank you for watching and streaming WMAR 2 News on this Friday night at 6 o'clock. I'm Jamie Costello. Kelly has the night off. Well, after studying 14 potential crossings to address future traffic congestion to get from one side of the Chesapeake Bay to the other, the Federal Highway Administration decided let's add another span right next to the Bay Bridge. That may be the best choice. WMAR 2 News' Jeff Hager has a reaction to that decision from Queen Anne's County. It's estimated 26 million vehicles cross the Bay Bridge each year. And during the summer weekend crunch, the traffic can temporarily cut off Kent Island from the rest of civilization. Are you guys eating outside or taking it to go? Uh, to go. Just ask the good folks here at Stevensville Crab Shack. When it's hustle and bustle like that and it's so backed up, then that affects business. Traffic increased by almost 40% over the last two decades, and it's only expected to get worse in the decades to come. That's why the Federal Highway Administration held public hearings and conducted a study into the impact of adding bridges elsewhere, something many longtime residents here supported. We already have bad enough traffic as it is. If you add a third bridge, it's just going to increase the traffic. I get it will increase the flow, but that's just more people coming through my hometown. But after a series of public hearings and studying the matter further, the feds decided adding a span next to the current ones was cheaper and there was no guarantee the traffic would shift elsewhere. While some were in favor of building another bridge to the north or south of here, there are still others who agree that the Bay Bridge is the answer and it makes the best dollars and cents for adding capacity. If you just put it between the other two bridges, we already have all the infrastructure down the road and just don't let them get off on the islands. So we can save the state billions of dollars. Huh? It's, it's all about the money. In, in my opinion, it's all about saving money. In Queen Anne's County, Jeff Hager, WMAR 2 News.